Hello YouTube, Matt here, and today we're gonna find out if you can grow your own lettuce just by using store-bought lettuce. So about three days ago, I purchased in the package a three-pack of romaine lettuce. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm gonna to try to just grow the lettuce with water, not using any soil. Um, and I have heard it's supposed to grow, so we'll see if this is a huge life hack or an urban legend. So now what I'm doing is I took the lettuce out of the package and I'm gonna cut about, um, about right about here. Let's try to get a clean cut. And then this little stem is what I'm gonna submerge in the water. Now these are the cups I'm going to submerge the lettuce in. And I made a little contraption just using household glasses that I already had. And then I got these cups. And what I did is I kind of cut little holes in them for aeration to try to get maximum growth. Okay, so as you can see, I put my three romaine stems um, in the cups of water. So I have the glasses that I put water in them. And I actually used a smaller glass for one of them because one of my glasses didn't really fit the cup or romaine very well. Um, and I guess I, I wanna give them some sunlight. So I guess I could open up the blinds, but instead I'm going to instead just put them out in the patio in a shaded area and see if they grow. So this is day one. And hopefully um, I start growing some romaine leaves after a while. So we'll see. So it's day three and let's look how my lettuce is doing. We don't see a lot yet, but there seems to be a little bit of growth in the middle. You can see that with this one too. Now this one doesn't seem to have growth yet, but it's a little bit of a smaller stem. So we'll see after a few days. All right, it's day five. So let's take a look and see how my romaine's doing. water. I've been changing it out every couple of days and we can already see some leaves growing. Um, this one is not growing quite as much but we can see a little bit growing and we'll continue to water it and see after a few more days if we can get full leaves but we already see some growths here so that's very encouraging. So it's been two weeks of growing the romaine lettuce. Let's see how they look. So these are the three romaines that I was growing. Um, this is now the 14th day, and we can see they're all growing lettuce out of them. And I did this with one other that I started two days before that I just used the um, loose romaine lettuce from the grocery store. And this one is now ready to harvest. So as you can see, you can definitely grow your own romaine lettuce just by using leftovers from romaine lettuce that you buy at the grocery store. There's a few things though that I have learned over the past couple of weeks doing this experiment. Um, and first, let me just say, I'm not a gardener, so these aren't professional tips. These were just learned from a little bit of trial and error in doing this. The first thing is the lettuce did not grow well when exposed to excessive heat. When I started this experiment two weeks ago, I left the lettuce outside and it got direct sunlight. And that was really good, except um, over the past few days, the temperature really started heating up above 90 degrees, and that was way too hot for the lettuce. I quickly realized that the leaves would start to wilt. The lettuce was fine in the 70s, 80s, but once it got above 90, it was just too hot, and it quickly started to wilt, and I had to um, try to cool down the lettuce the best I could so the, the leaves would prop back up again. Um, the other thing, that I learned is I did um, three stumps from the package of the romaine lettuce and one of them as you could kind of see from the pictures didn't grow quite as much and that's because I didn't leave very much of the 
um, stock the bottom of the romaine lettuce. Um, and I would recommend leaving at least two inches of the bottom of the romaine lettuce to give sufficient room for leaves to grow. Um, you'll still grow leaves regardless, so don't worry, I'm still growing leaves with the smaller one, but the, the ones that are just slightly bigger are growing a little bit better. Um, finally, you do not need to submerge that much of the lettuce stump in water. Um, only about a half an inch is fine. It's growing just fine when I'm not um, putting too much in water. So this was a fun experiment. Highly recommend if you ever buy romaine lettuce to not throw away the stumps, but instead try to regrow your own lettuce. This is definitely kind of a fun thing to try out, and I can't wait to try my fresh romaine lettuce leaves. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of all my new content.